Stand by. And launch team LC on countdown one. We've now completed our pre-takeoff uh, pre checklist. Ready to begin climb cruise. Now. LC, take us go for launch. LC is go for launch. PLT confirm. Confirm. Stand by for deployment. PLT, drop on my mark. Three, two, one, drop. Take us away. Take us away. On the this is away. Vehicle is fully armed. And ignition of the Pegasus rocket. Attitude remains nominal. Power buses remain strong with good voltage on all buses. This Pegasus is underway. The actuator system is operating properly. Fins are following commands and controlling the flight of the vehicle. Attitude remains nominal. 35 seconds into the IRIS mission, we're past max Q. Vehicle power buses remain nominal. Vehicle is flying along the nominal predicted track, indicating good performance. Attitude remains nominal over 50 seconds into the flight. We're now over 100,000 feet in altitude, traveling over 3,000, correction, 4,000 miles an hour. Power buses remain strong. Power Approximately 10 strong. seconds to stage one burnout. To stage, one burnout. stage one is burned out. Approximately 15 seconds to stage one separation and stage two ignition. Attitude remains nominal. Power bus is nominal. Stage one set, interstage separation. Stage two ignition is confirmed. Power buses remain strong, good voltage on all buses. Attitude remains nominal. Vehicle continues to fly along the nominal predicted track. And at this point, we lose our tracking of the chase plane with the uh, chase plane of the Pegasus. We'll be looking for it with ground cameras if available. Stage 2 TVC is operating nominally. The nozzle is following commands and controlling the flight of the vehicle. Fairing separation confirmed. Right and left half is separated. Attitude remains nominal after the deployment of the fairing. Approaching 150 seconds into the IRIS mission, all systems are performing nominally. Vehicle velocity is now 11,000 miles an hour, approaching 100 miles in altitude. Attitude remains nominal. Stage two is burned out. Vehicle is now in a prolonged coast phase as we coast up to the insertion altitude. All systems are operating nominally. Now 180 seconds or three minutes into the IRIS flight. Telemetry is being broadcast from the stage three antennas and we have solid lock on telemetry in the center. 
Stage two predicted burnout point matches very nicely with the nominal prediction. The flight computer on board the Pegasus vehicle has calculated the stage three ignition time. Stage three ignition time is 538 seconds, and that is right on the nominal value. So the coast phase that the vehicle is in will last approximately five more minutes as uh, we coast up to an insertion altitude of approximately 328 miles. Power buses remain strong. Telemetry link is good. Now approximately 240 minutes into the mission. The altitude is over 200 miles. Vehicle velocity is uh, 11,600 miles an hour. All systems are operating nominally. The nominal orbit for the IRIS spacecraft will be 387.5 by 418.7 miles. All systems continue to operate nominally during the coast phase as the vehicle uh, approaches the insertion altitude. IRIS will orbit the Earth every 97 minutes. We're approaching 300 seconds into the IRIS mission. All systems are operating nominally. The vehicle is over 250 miles in altitude at a speed of over 11,000 miles an hour. Attitude remains nominal. All power buses remain strong, good voltage, and expected current on all buses. We are approximately six minutes into the Pegasus Iris mission. All systems are operating nominally. Uh, again, the vehicle is still in the coast phase. Uh, stage three ignition is expected at 538 seconds, and we are now at 368 seconds. Power buses remain nominal. During this coast phase, the vehicle RCS system is being used to maintain vehicle attitude. Now at 400 seconds into the mission, vehicle is at an altitude of 329 miles. Velocity is uh, 10,800 miles an hour. Our actual launch time was 7.27.30. Decimal zero, zero, zero. And this is a peg on the countdown net. We're now at 435 seconds into the Pegasus Iris mission. All systems continue to perform nominally a little less than 100 seconds away from... Uh, stage three ignition. That's the voice of Steve Hollow, the flight systems engineer. In for approximately Global 20 Sciences. seconds, the RCS system will be used to reorient the vehicle in preparation for stage three ignition. Attitude remains nominal. Power buses remain strong. Vehicle is now maneuvering into the stage three ignition attitude. RCS is performing nominally. Vehicle attitude remains nominal during the maneuver.
Stage three ignition in 30 seconds. Power buses remain strong. Vehicle reorientation maneuver is complete. We are now at the appropriate stage three ignition attitude. In approximately 20 seconds, we'll have stage two separation followed about 11 seconds later by stage three ignition. Stage three TVC is powered on. Stage two separation. Five seconds to stage three ignition. Stage three ignition. Attitude remains nominal. Telemetry beginning to take hits. We are LOS in the center. And this is PEG on the countdown net. We have LOS in the center. All indications are that the vehicle was operating nominally when we uh, went over the horizon for radio. Uh, so stand by for uh, AOS, hopefully by airborne asset. It's loss of the uh, tracking signal to Vandenberg. Stand by now for Dryden's DC-8 to acquire. And uh, we have AOS in the center. We have good telemetry. All systems appear to be continuing to operate nominally. We're still in the stage three burn. Attitude remains nominal. And we have stage three burnout. The vehicle is in orbit, and we are at a nominal target orbit for the IRIS mission. We're now going to enter a coast phase where we uh, reorient the vehicle in preparation for payload separation. That will last approximately 2 minutes and 30 seconds from this point forward. Attitude remains nominal. The vehicle RCS is being used to control the vehicle attitude and is now pointed in the appropriate direction for iris payload separation. Power buses remain strong, good voltage, and good current oh, on all buses. Yes, on Evan, go ahead. Uh, we do. Attitude remains nominal. We're 650 seconds into the mission. Expect payload separation at 786 seconds. Copy that. And GNC reports that we have an excellent on-target uh, orbit for IRIS. This peg in the center, we are experiencing some loss of telemetry, which is just due to link margin. And this is peg in the center. We have LOS at this time. And this is PEG on the countdown net. Uh, we do have LOS by local Vandenberg sites. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have the airborne asset uh, uh, collecting telemetry. So that is the reason that we have LOS. It is not associated with the performance of the Pegasus launch vehicle. This is PEG on the countdown now. We still have LOS. The reason for that is that the airborne aircraft that was sent up to receive telemetry downrange uh, did not pick up a signal. It has not been able to track the signal. Uh, that was not a problem associated with the Pegasus launch vehicle. Uh, as we saw, the local range telemetry was strong until we went over the radio horizon. And predicted payload SEP would occur in 12 seconds. And just for note, the UTC of drop was 02-27-46. UTC of drop was 02-27-46.
predicted payload separation, and this is just based on the timer running here in the center, is now. Uh, we do not have telemetry to confirm that. However, we do have enough data to provide the spacecraft with a state vector, so that is in work at this time. This is PEG on countdown. Uh, we'll go ahead and report the orbit that uh, we had at, at the loss of telemetry. We had an apogee of 669.98 kilometers, which is right on target. We had a perigee of 622.96, again, which is right on target. An inclination of 97.899, uh, uh, again, on target. And an ML tan of 060235, again, right on target. So a great, great insertion orbit for IRIS. Uh, state vector is in work. And an update to our launch time, 620, or, or rather 727.44 decimal 000, 727.44 decimal 000. Now we have a report that IRIS is being tracked by the TDRS relay satellites. Uh, those satellites are reading telemetry uh, from the spacecraft, which is obviously separated successfully from Pegasus, to their ground station. So congratulations, IRIS. Uh, this ends the Pegasus mission and begins the IRIS mission to study the sun.